Who are we today? Why is it important for, for Don's Parker to be African-American, which I can't change, but why is it important for me to, to continue to carry the torch? This is very, very important. He, Purvis, Donnelly Purvis, Oscar Thomas, and the great Ed Love, all of them, man. Um, it's like, I have to do it because no matter if I fail, it's going to go down in history as Adonis Parker, the artist, failed. You understand? So I don't care. I'm, I'm not perfect. People can say what they want to say. And it's so strange that they always want to label me as, oh, that's Adonis Parker. Oh, the controversial artist. But my, my question to them is, what's so controversial about telling the truth? If you're telling the truth and you have facts on the table, that's what we look at, black and white and facts. That's what the judges and the prosecutors and all that, they look at facts, a paper trail. If I'm telling the truth, why is it controversial? You know? So Purvis had a different style from mine. We still, still you know, we still had the same message. And, and I look back now, I said, okay, you know, I love, I love, right now I can appreciate folk art and, and you know, through his eyes. And um, I restored his, uh, he has a, um, he has a piece he did, which we, he, he done it um, in, on 79th Street. It's in the, uh, the train station. Mm -hmm. uh, I restored that. Um, I restored the piece uh, on the library at Gibson Park. I restored that work there too. Um, I restored Brito's work at Grapeland Park. I restored probably some of the top artists. They, they sent me out there to restore them. I was part of a, a small group of artists that was hired by the county for a 10-year stretch to go around and uh, um, either correct or fix the dilapidated artwork. Didn't matter what year. It started from the 70s all the way up until current day. But if it was, um, it could be murals, could be anything. But um, I was hired to do that. Sculpture, mosaic, tile, steel, metal, all that stuff. But I had a chance to see some, you know, I can also say I, I uh, um, Romero Brito, I was actually in the art show with him um, 2008 at the, uh, it was a museum in Coral Springs. Me and two, two of the, my uh, artists, uh, Charles Mills, Renaissance artist, I told you. Mm -hmm. We talked about him, he passed, and also Louis Delsart. He's from Harlem, but he was in that little mix. He's also deceased too. But I was, there was uh, us three and uh, uh, Romel Brito. I'll, I'll send you the picture if you need the picture. I, I'll find a picture. But yeah, man, that was um, that was um, some time ago. See, so it, it, it's, your life always come back full circle. You never know who you're going to help or, you know, pass, you know, pass through with. Or you never know. It's, that's just what it is. That's why you always got to be nice to people, man. But art to me is therapeutic. Art to me, um, it heals and never destroys, especially if it's in the right hands. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So anytime you see somebody carrying that torch like that, like Purvis or anybody before us, man, it's it's uh um we have to recognize that we're not we didn't pop out of the air, you know, we're just here to continue the legacy. That's it. Mm -hmm.